What's going on, everybody? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and welcome to some brand new NASCAR Diecast reviews for you guys on this YouTube channel. And today it's going to be on probably, this is probably going to be one of the most popular Diecast reviews I will be doing on uh, probably for this year of 2020. It hasn't really been the best year, but I will say that. But for NASCAR, definitely a lot of, uh, there's been a lot of ups and downs, but this one was definitely an up, I can tell you that, especially after this kid just finally got his first cup win at Daytona. But we're going to be looking back at William Byron's 2020 Exalta. Uh, dual number two Daytona race win. So this is a really cool diecast I picked up from my good friends at Racing USA, and uh, this car is practically selling out everywhere. Uh, and it was released before William Byron eventually got the Daytona win. Um, as you guys know, that is probably going to be made in both scales, uh, like this car was made. But uh, yeah, very unique looking car that has the uh, traditional exalted flames but uh we got some color var variation going on with this and we'll get into in this more as we're going to be going out boxing this bad boy and let's take a close look at the william byron 2020 daytona duel number two raced win Alrighty, guys we got this die cast out of his box and my god what can i say man this die cast looks really cool um when, when this car first came out in the die cast render i thought it was probably one of the most ugliest looking schemes ever but don't let the diecast renders fool you guys because you guys can see right here we got ourselves this nice metallic blue. Um, it's almost kind of like a reflective metallic blue, man, but I mean a lot more brighter than the traditional uh, navy dark blue that we usually get on the Exalta scheme since 2018. This one's really cool, man. I mean, uh, if you guys uh, uh, if you guys know Plan B Sales, they did sell this diecast well, but it sold out within a day or two. Uh, they made a nice little tweet about this Exalta car. Basically, this is basically the Exalta car, but if you just left out in the sun too long. And I don't know, that, that's kind of funny. So that's quite, that's quite, I mean, whoever runs the memes, uh, whoever uh, does the memes for Plan B Sales on their Twitter and Instagram, they definitely deserve a raise because that is some, uh, heck, I mean... That's some carnation. Uh, that, that's right up there with some carnation memes. I will say that. <laughs> but shout out to Blade B Sales and Carnation because you know, and also Termination as well. If you guys are looking for good memes, um, check check uh, those three people out. Well, one of them is a diecast company, but uh, my God, guys, this is such a brilliant looking car, guys, by the one and only William Byron. Which practically this is basically my name, but just switch out the R and Y. I mean, just. How, how ironic that is, guys. I mean, you know how many times in my life uh, people have called me Byron? Especially, like, in school when people were reading my name. They're like, oh, how's it going, Byron? I'm like, nah, whatever. Uh, but one thing I'm not liking right there, you see right there, we got ourselves a nice little, uh, right where uh, where the point is supposed to be. But as you guys know, this is the, not really new, but this is the uh, new 2020 Chevrolet Camaro ZL110E mold. Um, got a little paint chip right there where the rounded, uh, where the rounded corner is. Not really corner anymore, but you know what I mean? It's a lot more rounded. But this is a raced version, guys. They did offer this car, um, I believe, with both variants. Uh, they they were going to offer a standard version, but they, uh, but since this car actually won the dual win, I mean, I can't say too much about the the, the, the Daytona 500 because this guy finished last at the Daytona 500. <laughs> um, but I mean, you could blame Stenhouse for that one for wrecking them on what, like lap 59 or lap 60. Um, you know, typical Stenhouse. What can you do? I mean. Uh, we got a cool. Uh, we got some cool details going on here. Of course, this is a gold series car. We got the window banners, which freaking love that. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any errors on that. Looks pretty good. We got a roof hatch. That is a cool, nice detail that they always put on the on the Daytona race wins. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, there are some little scuffs and marks you see right there. A uh, little logo. Um, uh, uh, we got some logo mislining right here, but typical Lionel quality. Um, holy crap! Holy crap! What happened to the NASCAR Cup Series logo? Holy Jesus. Look at that shit, dude. Wow. <laughs> My God. It's like a shark just came in here and just, I don't know, uh, swam with all the flames and shit and just took a nice bite out of that Cup Series logo. Jesus. What a great way to show off the uh, the Cup Series logo. Jesus. But yeah, that was pretty bad. But we do got some scuffs and, uh, well, not really scuffs, but a lot of uh, dirt marks and shit right where the flames are, which is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I said shit. Oh, well. <laughs> um the logos look like they are yeah those logos look a little misaligned right there you see the flame is touching right there but it's not right there so nice shot lino for some brilliant quality sarcasm intended and uh don't be fooled those are not paint chips that's actually part of the race uh that's part of the um of the scuffs that this car has see we got some exhaust marks right there and some random tapes in the side skirts uh logos placement looks like crap at least we got a normal looking Cup Series logo right there compared to this one right here. 
But yeah, I mean, this is definitely a popular card to get, and I had to get this as soon as William Byron picked up that first way. Finally, after almost uh, after his third year in Henrik, a lot of people were about to call this guy a bust. I mean, I'm looking at you, NRF. Because <laughs> um, I will admit, I mean, 2020 has been a rough season for William Byron. But after, I mean, these last three races, man, William Byron has really shown some speed. I mean, finally cracked some top fives. I mean, what, like, of course, we all know he won at Daytona. But before that, uh, at the second over race, he got, like, I think he finished like uh, fourth or uh, he finished fourth, I believe. And then the, the, and then the race that we literally just got done talking about the son of 500 guys, I think he finished fifth. So, um, yeah, I mean, William Byron's starting to show some speed in the playoffs guys. And that is going to be dangerous to know because he does have, you know, a championship race winning crew chief for Mr. Seven time, um, Jimmy Johnson, uh, Jack and house. But yeah, I mean, apparently this is the, uh, this is the automotive color of the year. Sea glass. Um, pretty interesting to see that but you see the logo placements are pretty bad but what can i say typical lionel quality but yeah i mean this diecast actually looks really cool man i mean like i said do not let the diecast renders fool you because if it wasn't for the metallic finish i think this car would look pretty ugly but since it has this nice bright and vibrant metallic blue and the I mean, yeah, the colors are washed out, and I think it will look better with a brighter yellow 24. Speaking of the devil, we're going to be looking at this diecast. But let me just say, this is actually probably the first accurate Exalta car that we got for this year. Because you guys remember the Kobe Bryant scheme review that I just did? Um, I actually do like that car a lot more than the actual car, but the purple was a lot more darker. So, yeah. And then, of course... This exalted car right here, which I've still yet to review. I'm probably waiting for me. I'm, I'm probably waiting for a rant review on this, but I don't know. I mean, I know you guys want to see it, but um, it's just me. Those headlights look really odd on the primary exalted car. I don't know. They look pretty odd. Either that or the paint team's kind of screwing me. But yeah, I mean, how can a car that's so bright and vibrant? I mean, that, 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 I mean, usually bright, vibrant cars are usually my favorite, but I don't know, man. I'm really digging this dual win, guys. I mean, especially the blue. I think the blue is what's really selling me on this. I mean, yeah, they could put the bright red and the neon yellow, but it literally looks like this car literally just took, took uh, that literally uh, did some sunbathing, kind of like that one episode of SpongeBob. Well, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, when they get like a sunbathe and what, like SpongeBob has like gets like some leech and some shit like that <laughs> oh lordy mr long tan and handsome <laughs> uh i don't care who how old you guys are you are never too old for spongebob but um yeah this is a pretty cool side by side comparison but as you guys know that part is inaccurate but i don't know you can blame lionel you can blame henry motorsports for that but since we like to trash on lionel a lot let's go ahead with that but yeah i mean paint scheme or well, logo placement pretty much exactly the same Pretty much exactly the same, I will say that. But um, pretty cool we got a different looking Exalted car, guys. I hope they could do this for every year. I mean, this was definitely something different and risky. But at least he was able to get a win. Well, that, I mean, I know the dual wins and the all-star wins don't really count. I mean, um, heck, it was cool for Chase Elliott to win at the all-star. And then William Byard winning one of the dual races. As you guys know, Joe Logano won the other dual win. Uh, the, the other dual race, which that wasn't offered in the 164 scale. But, yeah, I highly highly recommend picking this car up as soon as you can because it's already sold out in many places racing usa has this car in stock so i'll probably link the description if you guys want to get it right now because that's been the go-to place i've been going to you get some latest nascar diecast maybe 07 will have this as well i know they have the kobe bryant tribute car but anyways guys this has been obb the diecast news guy thank you so much for watching this diecast review of the william byron 2020 exalta uh daytona number two dual race win Chevrolet Camaro ZL1, 1LE, for Henry Motorsports. And I will catch you guys next time on another NASCAR Diecast review. This has been OBB, the Diecast News Guy. See you guys next time.